Hello and welcome to the Katia Pads and Pockets lesson. In this lesson you'll learn how to use pads, pockets, hole creator, chamfers and fillets, and how to manipulate the viewpoint. To begin I'm going to open Katia and open a new part. I'm going to keep the part name. I'm going to open a sketch on this plane. Starting at the origin, I'm going to draw a circle. Dimensions don't matter much. I'm going to draw a second circle out here and a rectangle. Now I'm going to go up here to this button, which lets me exit the sketch. Now I'm in the parts workbench. So you can see I have sketch options, pad, pocket, shaft, groove, hole, rib, slot. In this case we're going to use the pad. Because my sketch is highlighted it automatically defaults to making a pad out of that sketch and I can determine what size I want it to be. One inch. So you can see it's one inch thick. I'm panning like that by clicking and holding down center click and then right click and it pans like a globe. If I wanted the pad to go the other direction you'd press reverse direction and it would go the other way from the plane or you can go to more and have it go in two directions at the same time. We don't want that so we're going to be okay with this. We now have our pad. Once a pad's been created, you can enter Sketcher on any flat surface. In this case, we're going to enter on this plane. As you can see now, the sketch plane is on the surface of our part. I'm going to use the profile command, just draw a triangle. Exit the sketch. Now I'm going to pocket with the pocket command. Pocket command gives you several options. You can dimension it. You can go up to the next feature. Up to last means it goes all the way through your part. Up to plane will go up to the next plane. And surface will take you to the next surface. In this case, I want to go through everything, so I'll do that. And there. I've now cut all the way through my part. The sketcher also allows you on a part, you can enter any surface such as this one. And if you can't see it, you go down here to the bottom to the cut by sketch plane button. This cuts your part to that plane that you're sketching on. I'm going to draw a circle and exit this. So you can see I now have a circle on that plane and now I can pocket through. Now you can really see the different pocket options. Up to last is taking it all the way through. Up to next is taking it up to that surface. Up to plane, I can select it to go up to that plane and then inside there it stops there. Or up to surface, have it go up to that surface. I'm fine with that. There we go. Now I have a hole all the way through there. Finally, I'm going to show you how to chamfer and fillet the edges. This is the fillet and the chamfer button. To use them, select it and it tells you which objects you'd like to fillet in this case. I just want to do this edge right here. You can preview it using that button. It kind of shows you what it's done. I'm fine with that. And there you go. Same process can be used for the chamfer. That edge, that edge, that edge, and that edge. You don't need to press and hold down control when there's a, a box like that. Um, if I were to select them before I click the chamfer definition button, then you would have to press control.
want that to be 0.125. There we go. Chamfers and fillets. If I wanted to select a whole face, such as this back face, just clicking on it, it highlights all the edges. I can do a nice 0.125 fillet on the whole face. And that concludes the pads and pockets lesson.